Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to use AI to draft contracts, and this is going to save you um, a truckload of time. So we're going to use Microsoft Word and an AI software called Close Buddy. So if you go into add-ins and you search Close Buddy, it will, um, within two minutes, you can set up an account. It'll give you a prompt to create an account. And then this is what the home section would look like. So for the drafting features, um, we're looking at the artificial intelligence section. All the sections use artificial intelligence, but it's just the name given to this section here. And the instructions on how to use um, each one of these sections if you're using it for the first time. And you can always um, refer to the section that gives you explanations. So um, you can either compose documents um, in the entirety, or you can draft text and then um, sort of compile text by text and create one document from that. And once you're drafting different texts, you can save those clauses in your libraries and then refer to them at a later time whenever you want to use it. So if you go to compose documents, first thing you'll get is complete documents themselves. So you'll get um, different types of agreements and then um, you can easily fine tune those to your specific requirements or you can click on one of these agreements and then use the review features to get um, to help to get AI to guide you through um, some of the features um, in the contract that you may want to uh, have a look at or that uh, may need fine tuning depending on your jurisdiction, the type of contract and um, things like that. So the first example is the prompt feature. So the same way you would use ChatGPT is how you would use this feature. So let's say you're looking for an agreement. You go to the examples of this template section right here. You fail to find what you're looking for. You go to prompt and then you type a, a prompt similar to what you would do with chat GPT. And then you fine tune right here, language you want, number of sections you want in your contract, and then the style. So do you want longer, con longer clauses? Do you want shorter clauses? And then you hit draft. And then if you give it a few minutes, um, the AI will draft a complete uh, contract for you. But uh, within this drafting, you have to also um, guide it in certain ways. So it's not like going to just give you the um, entire contract at once. And the reason for that is because there would be no need for this template section if it was just going to generate the entire document with one click. So think of it more as um, guided automation. I think that's the best way to look at it. So um, as you can see, it will already set out the different clauses of your contract for you, which saves you a lot of time. And then it will suggest different clauses for you. So here on the introduction section here, if you click on library, there are already uh, different clauses which you can read through and uh, simply hit select. And then it's already added an entire clause. So instead of um, taking the time to um, write an entire clause like that, you just simply uh, read through the library Right, so here under the description of leased properties, you just go to leased library um, and then you click on an option, then it's drafted the clause. So certain clauses may not already exist. Um, it's just unfortunate that um, the contract we're drafting, it's quite uh, common, but certain clauses may not exist. And say you want to add a clause um, specific to your contract, you can use the auto draft feature right here where you can ask it to draft a contract uh, draft a clause, and then you can add that drafted clause, which doesn't exist on the library. So if you click here, you can use clause suggestion, and it can uh, suggest different clauses to add. So under payments, it's giving you all these different features. And so you can make your uh, sections as long as you want, and you can keep asking for uh, suggestions, and it can draft. So once you click on this, it will automatically um, draft a section for you. Um, will not exactly draft a section for you. It will um, add the feature on the contract here. Exactly. So add a feature on the section here. So initial payment and schedule, it will add that, but it will also draft the, the necessary clauses for you. So we add that. So on and so forth. And um, what's also interesting is that once it's drafted um, the sections for you, what you can do is you can also save those clauses into your playbook. So remember how we talked about saving the different clauses? If you go here, you can store as a clause and then use it for later use. So once it's been drafted for you, there's no need to redraft it again. Here on this pencil section is where you would edit, like you would be editing in Microsoft Word. And then the screwdriver here is where you would ask the prompt to, you'd ask the software to redraft the section or fine tune it to meet your requirements. 
So once that's all done, you hit export. So you can export, before you do that, you can change um, things like font, font size, ETC, hit export, and then you have your entire contract done. Let's just open it. There you go. So you've already got your contract done for you and um, it's already helped you to initiate contract review by highlighting certain sections. So in these sections, it doesn't have the information that you would need and um, you might, uh, you want to add the information. So things like your address, uh, dates, location, um, amounts, and things like that and certain definitions. So it will already get you started on the contract review section of that. And um, we're not gonna get into contract review, that's for the next video. But what you can do after you've drafted the contract is you can make use of the contract review section under document analysis. And it can do things like proof, uh, proof reading, um, setting rules for what you want to review exactly. So different firms are looking for different things. Different attorneys are looking for different things. And you can set the parameters of what the AI should be reviewing for. So if the AI should be reviewing for inconsistencies or missing information or um, ETC, that's the kind of stuff you'd be using um, right here. So back to our drafting. Uh, if we go to examples, because now we've looked at um, compiling the contract, but what you can do is you can use um, a popular agreement like a consultancy agreement. And then once you've clicked on it, it will um, it will give you the same sort of features. But um, like I had said, remember when I said sometimes there's nothing in the library and as you work through... Um, using the software, you have to add things. So you can use the auto draft feature to help you draft uh, certain missing sections or what you can do is just look for information in the libraries and just use that information. Most of this is for um, US firms, European firms and things like that. So I don't think um, you'd have an issue with um, in terms of you know drafting consistencies one of the major concerns I think with most people with um, law tech is the, the idea that the tech is from another continent and then you're trying to use it in the States or wherever and that could um, cause some problems. But um, in this case, um, it's mainly for European and US clients. I'm not saying that you can't use it if you're not in, like if you're in Australia or wherever, you still can use it. Um, and there we go. So you go through the same process and then you export Yes. Yes. And there you go. So um because it's uh the reason why it has so many missing it, it has so many missing clauses because we were just um quickly moving through it and only filling out some of the sections. So we filled in things like liability. So imagine the time it saves you to draft this entire section right here. Um, it's much quicker to have an initial draft and then from there fine tune um, what you're looking for. So um, it's it will save you a truckload of time and won't break the bank either for all the features, all the AI features right here on the home section right here, the drafting section, the... AI review section, and then the forms or templates section right here where you can automate form filling and things like that. It's all for 30 bucks a month. Uh, let me know what you think, guys. Take care.